Hola, bienvenido, mi amigos. We are in Armenia, Colombia right now, and we have two of the coolest Airbnbs that are not only the cheapest, but the most unique. And I'm gonna show you guys the first one. It's in a tree house in a bamboo forest. Come here. First we walk through this bamboo walkway and then boom, we're in a forest. The reason we're out here in Armenia, Colombia in the first place is because my best friend from childhood is getting married and I set this couple up 10 years ago and they're finally tying the knot. So congratulations to Mauricio and Kat. But as you can see, it's starting to peek through and it's looking awesome. Let's get on over there. As you can see, there's a tree that is running through the entire tree house, which is amazing. It's glass up there so you can see the forest, bamboo everywhere. Let's get a closer look. Do you see the size of that trunk? This thing's gotta be a couple hundred years old. Let's go. We're walking a bamboo walkway, which, you know, could twist an ankle, but be careful. We got an outside tub. Look inside that. You going in there? Hell no, we ain't using the tub. Let's go in the tree though. How you enter into this tree house is through this spiral staircase, but be careful because one side doesn't have a rail. We're now up in the tree house. This is our living area right here. Stay warm by the fire on these nice cold Armenia bamboo forest nights. You read a book, chill out, have a conversation. It's nice. One thing obviously you need to point out is the tree that is running through the entirety of the room. Super beautiful. I love that you can definitely touch the tree, feel connected to the tree. Moving on, one thing I gotta point out right here. This is probably my favorite part of the room. Slide this door open and you're entering into the zone, okay? I call this the zone because you can really zone off and just focus. You gotta put your trust in some net that you hope is not old and flimsy. Okay, we're good. But once you're here, sit back, relax your lady or your man in your arm right here and just listen to the sounds of the forest. Oh, now that's meditation right there. Let's move on in and let's show you the rest of the room. Next, let's get romantic with things, okay? So we have a bathtub literally in the living room because this whole room is where you're living. This bathtub is rather big. Could definitely fit two people comfortably, three depending on whatever you're into. You got hot, you got cold water, so take whatever kind of bath you want. Accompanied with some bathrobes so you can really get the vibe going. I'm not gonna ask no questions. Then moving on over here, we got our bed, okay? Now this, some people may say, is where the magic happens. But let me tell you where the magic really happens. It happens in the air when you're about to feel the softness of this bed. Ah! Oh. Okay, yeah. I don't know if magic is happening on this bed. It is a little bit hard, but not entirely like a rock. I've definitely laid on harder beds before, so it is decently comfortable. I will say I will get a full night's rest here on this bed for sure. Something I just noticed over here is we got a mini bar. Let's check out the selection. Now this is my favorite part. Check that out, this is our selection. We got beer, more beer, we got water, we got more beer, we got a tea, some uh, Red Bull, Smirnoff ice, some chocolates, some tonic water. This is Club Colombia, this is their classic beer that they drink here, super good stuff. Anyways, you do gotta pay for every single thing in here, but don't you worry, we're gonna be drinking everything in there. It's really cheap here in Colombia. This entire Airbnb stay only costs $85 a night, and it includes breakfast, that's a steal. Overall, this place is really cool. I've never stayed in the trees before, and I'll let you know what I think in the morning. So this is how you know you're almost there. We got the name of the villa, Villa Baku. I like that, sounds anime. Let's keep going. <laughs> like someone took a piss and it's stained. <laughs> We're almost here, guys. Just a little bit more. Come on, push through the fruit trees and welcome to Villa Baku. Check that out. I know you guys wanna go inside, so come on. All right, let's start this tour off with the kitchen. Now for our kitchen, check this out. It's very cute, very petite. And one thing I just noticed, this is the honeymoon getaway right here. You got all your choices of alcohol, although they aren't free. Columbia is rather cheap, so I couldn't imagine it'd be too much. You got all the essentials with a microwave, our coffee pot. I don't really know how to use a coffee pot like this. 
Let's see what we got in our quote unquote mini bar. It's a lot bigger than our last one. Oh, okay. Similar stuff from the treehouse. Beers, beers, Coke, and water. Then for our eating area, we got our little snacks here, but one thing that is really beautiful is this kind of makeshift bonsai tree right here. If anyone knows about bonsai, this isn't exactly a bonsai, it's more of like a succulent, but it just kind of looks like one, and I feel like bonsai is the smallness of a plant, and this is beautiful. I'd like one of those in my house. But now, I wanna jump to the bathroom because it is insane. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare your eyes for what you're about to see, because this is the only way I wanna use the bathroom ever again. Check this out. Literally brings in plants from the outside. There is no roof. So if it were to rain, you'd feel it in the shower. But this is truly a magical experience. Bringing in the outside world to the inside truly feels like one of a kind in here. You got literally everything reminds you of outside. You got a rock sink, a, a, literally a wood table, beautiful mirror. I have one like this at back home as well. Let me tell you guys, I took one last night and just sitting here within nature and just do, I can explain that. It was a toilet. Sitting here in nature and hearing the birds chirp or the crickets creak and just smelling the freshness of the air compared to what's coming out down there, super peaceful, super natural. Now what's a romantic vacation without a robe, am I right? So welcome to where the magic actually happens. This room is massive, way bigger than the tree house if we're comparing Airbnb to Airbnb. This spot is amazing because of this right here. Show this, air conditioning. You don't get it a lot of the times here in Colombia, so to have it in the room is beautiful. Obviously, we got window walls, so we could see out at this vast beauty right when we wake up in the morning. Let's do a bed test, and let's just see if this bed is even gonna be rocking with us, or is it gonna feel like we're laying on a rock? Oh, okay. Much better than the treehouse bed. And if you wanted an Airbnb like this yourself, this room costs $200 a night. Still rather cheap for such an immersive, beautiful getaway. Now, before I show you guys the outside, I gotta take this off because I'm not trying to get my robe dirty. Come check this out. And this is our backyard. Absolutely beautiful. We have a hot tub that doesn't get very hot, but this view right here makes it all worth it. It's absolutely serene, incredibly green. We have fruit trees that cover the mountains all around us. We got oranges, we got bananas, we got limes, todos. Super cool, super relaxing spot for a couple of getaway. You got your nice lounge chairs. Come over here where we'll have breakfast. In the beauty of our own backyard, you really don't even have to leave this place. It's just, you're tucked away, away from other people, you have a barbecue, have some friends over if you want, but honestly, this is just me and my girl here. You could just kick back and relax by the fire or lay out on this beautiful net and enjoy the vast, serene mountain hills and valleys of Colombia. <sighs> Doesn't get much better than this, actually. A mimosa would be nice right now. All right, so we just got back from staying at those Airbnbs and we're gonna run you guys with some pros and some cons. So the first one, the jungle Airbnb. What do you think, pro and con, give me one. It was beautiful, I mean, it being in the trees, very like just zen <laughs> you could hear the birds so it was really really pretty and what was a con oh the bathroom is in the bedroom yeah the bathroom it wasn't in the bedroom it was right downstairs so we basically had to play you go outside while i take a dump <laughs> and, I, and vice versa so it was definitely a uh you know a bonding experience mm -hmm. if you will but you got to be comfortable with your partner or whoever you're in there with because it's very close mm -hmm. quarters but another pro about it is the price. It was rather cheap to stay in the jungle and get that experience, but I'm gonna run it with one more con, was the bugs. We were definitely knew that there was gonna be bugs while being in the jungle, but like we weren't really uh, like too adapted to how many bugs were gonna be in there and how they would just somehow get in there, crawling in the bed and stuff. That was definitely one of my cons. But overall, what would you rate the stay of the jungle? I give it like a 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. It was definitely a cool spot, definitely an experience mm. to say the least, and I'm glad that we could do it. Now for the second Airbnb, this one was way more luxurious. I definitely felt like I was living that multi-millionaire lifestyle. <laughs> so run us with a pro and con of that one. Um, I mean, pro is very, very beautiful inside. It was, like you said, luxurious. Nothing bad to say about it except for my only con was the people on the place that we were staying there had a little dog. He was so cute. And what happened? Tell me what, what was happened. his name? Chico. Chico. Oh. Chico. Chico. And he was really, really cute and like so sweet and I enjoyed him the whole time. 
but then we're staying in this really luxurious, nice place. I was laying in my bathroom and he came in and jumped on the bed on me, which was fine. But a little flea popped <laughs> on my face. We think it came from the, the dog, not from yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the lady, the, she was so sweet and she was bringing us our breakfast in the morning and the dog just follows. Yeah. It's their dog. They live on the premises and the dog ran in, gave her a flea on the face. I will say for my <laughs> pros and cons of the place, absolutely beautiful, definitely mm -hmm. private and awesome. I love that there was no neighbors. There was no other people really staying mm -hmm. in the vicinity that we were at. So we yes. could have done anything or gotten crazy if we wanted to, but it was a beautiful stay. But the one con I will say is that the AC stopped working. Mm. And in Colombia, it is ridiculously hot. Like, like in the in the jungle one, we didn't have AC, but it was okay because we were in the shade and we were cool. This one, the sun it was, was in the trees. It was in the yeah. This one was straight up like on top of the trees. The, it was a glass box, so the sun was beaming in, and mm -hmm. it, you felt it all. But other than that, it was definitely a fun stay. We definitely felt very luxurious sipping on our, our beers and our champagne or whatever on that net outside. It was truly a beautiful experience and um, definitely would recommend both of them. They were both by the same Airbnb owner. They weren't too pricey at all either, so that was a definite cool thing about those Airbnbs. Now it's time to rate this luxurious top of the tree villa stay. I'm gonna give it a Minus the AC and the flea, if we don't really think about those two things, I'm gonna give it a solid eight and a half because it was beautiful and memorable and it was a really cool place. If you're into photography, that could have been a really cool photo shoot spot as well. What, are you, what about I'd you? I'd say nine out of 10 minus okay. the flea, um, which that wasn't the place's fault. I'd give it a nine out of 10. The only thing too though with both of them is when we, we were in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that. Literally, <laughs> it took us about 30 minutes to get to civilization from these yeah. spots. Which is fine if you're wanting it to be a private getaway where you're literally getting away from everyone and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to like get out and walk to somewhere, Just this wouldn't be a spot. Yeah. <laughs> we literally had to eat from one place which was a hotel nearby where they would order it and. It was a mess. All right, so there you have it. If you guys wanna see us stay at more Airbnbs and review them, even crazier ones around the world, let us know in the comments down below and we'll make this a series where we check out the craziest Airbnbs. I mean, it could be cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll throw in some worse rated Airbnbs. Too. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, pick up the merch, brennantaylor.com, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> I'm so excited.